back would be a much better decision to do. Um, so the next example here is let's do theta equals negative 5 pi over 4. All right. Um, so now this one's negative. But hopefully at least negative makes sense when we're talking about standard form because we know we can just same measure, just different direction. So, and we're going to start picking this up a little bit. Let's start using some tricks and techniques. We know negatives in this form, in that way, right? So I know I'm going in that direction. Now, from here to here is pi. And, but also, how many fourths is that? 4 pi over 4, right? So because if here's my denominator, I, you guys agree that's like 4 pi over 4. So I look at my angle and I say, oh, I just need to go to get to 5 pi over 4. So what that means is I just need to go, like I know if I travel from here to here, I traveled 4 pi over 4, right? And I need to get to 5 pi over 4. So that means I just need to go one more fourth. There we go. Done. So we could say, um, so my angle is just going to look something like that. You could break the bottom up if you wanted to and count 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths, 5 fourths, right? But if you guys already know something is larger than pi, then you can just start with pi and then go from there. Um, now let's go and find coterminal angles. Again, basic idea is just to add and subtract. So if we look at this, what is 2 pi in terms of fourths? 6 pi over 3? No? 8 pi, over four. 8 pi over 4. So why don't we add 8 pi over 4? That gives me 3 pi over 4. And let's do negative 5 pi over 4 minus 8 pi over 4. That gives me negative 13 pi over 4. And let's just kind of confirm that. Does this look like 3 pi over 4? 1, 2, 3. Right? What about this one? This one's 5. And if I did a whole revolution again, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Right? So that angle would be a big angle. Go, ooh, ooh. But it still works. Now, i got to caution you, though. Adding and subtracting 2 pi is not always going to get you 